Hey YouTube, well, oh, I tell you, like, what an experience this was, like, whew, right, uh, fishing at Bustleton Jetty, man, we kicked ass, like, oh my god, it was the most amazing fishing experience I think I've ever had in my life. I'll go through some of the catches and what I'm going to classify as a catch because what we had and what we we're doing and you know okay so our prime goal was Benito right Benito is a tuna about five kilo three to five kilo sometimes get up to about ten um, and like I watched this video from a girl called uh, what was it hooked on Damn it, what was her name? It's really, really late for me, so, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was, this girl was, like, showing how to catch this fish, and I just copied what she did, and I was just talking with my mate, and bam, I just got hit with the strongest, longest fight I've ever had with a fish, like, um, it was, it was a monster, like, whatever it was, it, it just, Wow, like I, I was having like I was just reeling 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 and my hand was getting tired because it was in the wrong spot because I had like hooked my hand around the reel which is usually where I hook it which isn't a good okay so number one when fishing for big fish do not put your hand where the reel is and hook it around like that like to it's dumb okay so it'll, it'll hurt your wrist um that will wear you out a bit faster and yeah so the line was pulling down and just constantly down and it was just on the whole time like I was just like far out like whatever I've got is going to be a monster and I was like my mate's like yeah that's how Benito fight man like so just keep 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 the tension on keep the tension but like to move my hand just that one second the fish got off so I was like damn but that was lesson learned. So lesson learned. Learn from my mistake. Don't let the, the don't let up. Just keep pulling the bastard in, and ho hopefully you get him. Hopefully you get him. And uh, yeah, it was a good fight. And um, then my mate, he he hooked like we thought it was a like a tailor, um, but he got away. Like it was a big fight. Big fight. It was big fish. Anyway, so we're we're fishing away and. Um, like, we're getting a lot of, like, snooks, and we're thinking, oh, yeah, well, whatever's chasing snook is going to gonna be decent. Um, like, we were thinking Taylor. Um, Taylor usually goes and go after snook. Um, the snook we are getting were, were probably about the size of, a, you know, the ones you get up in Perth, so it weren't, weren't big snook. Um, but up further up the jetty, they'll get, like, like, monster snook, like, like 50 centimetre at least, like ones we were getting were like 30, so where we were, because we didn't go all the way up the jetty, because we decided it was no real point, so um, we walked about a kilometre up the jetty, Je the jetty's about two kilometres, so we were about halfway up the jetty, um, that's all you really needed to be, um, and anyway, so my friend's fishing away, and this is where, where it gets, like, unreal. Like, I've, I've never seen anything like It was the most craziest fight ever. Um, so he's fishing away. He's not, we're, we're fishing for Taylor. Right, we're both fishing for Taylor. So we just glow light, gang hook, trace. That's it. And I think he even said he didn't even have a trace on. Fucking bang! Line just goes... Bzzz! straight out like and when I'm just like just wait just wait and we're just thinking just wait just wait just wait wait for it to stop stop charging stop bang just pulled him up you just started um fighting him and when we get him in close enough um my mate's like it's a shark I'm like thinking nah can't be a can't be a shark like no way not not a shark definitely not a shark um I got my torch out of my bag and I stuck it on this thing. It was a bronze whaler, like it was a about a one one point two meter bronze whaler, and I 
just looking at it like, oh my god, it's an actual shark. Like, a live actual shark. We couldn't pull it up because we're on 20 pound line, right? Like, and um, so we're thinking, how are we going to get this thing, try and get this thing? Because apparently there's like a size maximum you can get with a bronze whaler, but this one would have been actual eating size. Like, we could have eaten it. Anyway, so there's like a lower portion of the jetty. Um, there's a bunch of um, guys down there fishing. And um, so we, I grabbed this like metal, it, it looks like a hay baler type thing. My mate just sort of just put it together for a, for a gaff. It wasn't really a gaff. It was just a pole with a, with a, with a hook spike on it. But it, well, the spike wasn't very sharp. Um, anyway, so we pull this this bronze whaler over to the lower portion, like we just drag in across the jetty, and it's fighting like mad. Like it was, it was just like the most intense fight ever. Like, and um, then um, so we get it to the lower portion. I climbed, I climbed, I asked someone to hold the torch, and I climbed down the the stairs with the hook, and my mates pulled him up to the stairs, and I'm like, or the ladder or whatever it was, and I'm, I'm I, I fucking, I smashed this thing with the, um, with, with the hook, and the hook just bounced off it, like, the skin was that tough, I was like, damn it, I don't know if I can actually pull this thing up, so try to stick the hook in its mouth, nah, no luck, the, the, the fish is just like, nah, thrash, 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 so it's just like, damn it, I'm gonna lose this thing, um, but, what can you do? Like, it's a shark. <laughs> like, it's, and, and like, I'm trying to be careful not to get bitten by this thing because it's a shark. Like, but I'm thinking, uh, you know, got to go for glory. Um, no, no balls, no glory. So just go for the shark. So I'm, I'm trying to hook the shark with this metal pole thing. And, um, and then these other fishermen come across and they had an actual gaff, like a proper gaff on a rope. So they get it around the shark and... They tried to pull it up, but unfortunately the shark thrashed around and, and broke free. So um, it was got away, but you know what? If it was in any other situation, if it was a rock fishing, we could have got him up. If it was um, a beach, we would have landed him. And so I'm classifying that shark that my mate, I'm so and say he caught it. Even though it got away, he caught it because any other situation we would have got it and... We just didn't have the right gear to get him, but we fought him all the way. We brought him to us, and all. And the only thing that we lacked was just the right equipment to get the shark out of the water. Um, so yeah, so then we keep fishing, right? So because we think that that got our that got our hearts pumping. Like it was it was the best. Like it was the best. I, I, I can't even describe. How, how happy we were that we, we fought a shark and um, pretty much came out on top of the shark but not really but yeah and I don't know I don't know what you want to call it but anyway um, so we, we put out this like this line um, we did hook a ray sting an actual stingray um, but we released him because you, ca you can't eat stingray and you can't do anything with a stingray so we just dragged him across. He wasn't as bad as the shark. He wasn't fighting us. I think he wanted to get off the hook. So we just sort of just got him close enough and then just pulled, him, got the pliers and pulled out the, the hooks and that and just let him go. Um, so it still keeps keeps going. Um, so I'm thinking, you know what? I'm pretty stoked, right? Like, I've, this has been a great fishing experience. I'm really happy. Um, all I thought was, you know, I'd, my night would be topped if I could just catch a stonk and tailor. And I pull, like, we're just fishing away, just keep going with the muleys, because we're smashing the muleys, and they're just going off, like, all night. They're just, bang, they're just, everything we're putting out there, they're going off. So, bang, get hit with this good, you know, how a tailor hits, it just, like, it pauses, and then it pulls, thrashes side to side, shakes the head, the whole lot, like, pull up the stonkin' tailor, about 32, 34 centimetre. It wasn't, like, the biggest tailor in the world, but it was decent. Like, you, you could have eaten it if you wanted to. That's not what we used it for, but... Um, anyway, um, so we pull up this tailor, and um, 
I, like I pull up this tailor and I'm thinking that's it my night is that's tops like it's not going to get any better than that you can't get any better than that we, we fought a shark I, I, I had a hit from a bonito like a real big fish like a proper fish um, you, you know I learned a lesson from that and you know it uh, it doesn't get any better than that but it does All right so well, I'm just throwing out these these mule um, these these I'm, I'm just on gang with a treble and um, no glow light I took that off because it got a, it, it, it was scaring the fish away um, and bang we just I, I pulled up about three herring um, they, they weren't bad size actually and um, then my mate he um, he pulled up a couple of herring got some trumpeter you can't do, if you don't know what trumpeter is it's basically just a it's just like a snook it's not really anything you can do with you you can cook it but I, I wouldn't recommend it. it it tastes rubbish anyway um, so we pull up this um, so Taylor we're bashing the tailor for a bit like I, I got another tailor um, and it was yeah about the same size about 32 34 centimeter I got we were only using the tailor for liveies so I gave the tailor to the fisherman next to me like so because I thought well they they hadn't really caught anything that night so I that I thought that was just you know if we could have given them like more fish we probably would have but um, anyway so we're, we're throwing out these like we put a herring on like a livey and we, we put him out there and um, this was on a pre-bought rig and um, it's on a set of gangs well kind of it was like a hook single hook tied to uh, like a 70 pound tray or line etc etc um, so we put this herring out there um, bang oh sorry that was when the ray got it because we didn't we didn't put a balloon on at that time but then we thought right well we don't want to get rays because yeah they're pain in the ass you don't really want to hook rays so um we put um put a balloon on it bang this thing take like we put one of the the tailor on it because my mate he got a tailor so we we had two livey tailor but they yeah so we put the the tailor on it because we thought well whatever takes this tailor it's going to be big, like it's going to be a monster fish. Um, so we catch, um, so we hook, hook it and then it just smash, smashes the rig like it's gone within like five seconds. And we're thinking, whatever took that, it was slow, it was big and it could chomp. Like, um, but oh well, it was gone. Um, so we, we did the same. Um, we left that tailor out there for a while, um, and then, uh, yeah, while, while we're smashing muleys, this is where it even gets, like, even more awesome, like, smashing the muleys out there, and there, st we started getting pinkies, which, if you don't know what a pinky is, it's, it's a pink salmon, oh, sorry, pink snapper, pink snapper, that's what we're getting, we're getting about 25 centimeter pink snapper to 28 centimeter pink snapper they weren't big enough to keep all right so a bit unfortunate because their snappers are really good eating fish it would have made a really nice meal but oh well and um well anyway so every fish that we couldn't keep we just chucked them back all right so before you say what do you do with them yeah you know you just chuck them back because you never know they they could grow bigger and you could catch them again so just don't know him um, but anyway um, so I wasn't really giving my mate enough credit for these these pink snapper because I thought well they're, they're like they're giving him a good whack and like I could I was getting bites but I wasn't getting that the actual chomp um, but then I got like I got one like I actually caught a pink snapper and oh my god those things fight really hard for their size like He'd actually hurt my wrist pulling him up because he fought that fought me that hard. Like I was like, just 
Oh, I was like, no, I'm not letting you go this time. Like, no, not letting another decent fish go. And so we smashed the pink snapper for, like, we caught about five of them, I think. Five or six. And um, right at the end, when we're about to pull up our, our livey, um, the, uh, it just went bang. And something, again, something big took it. And we really gave it a good, like, really let let it run for a bit. And then we just, like, we, we gave it a good effort to try and get it. And we hooked it, but it just snapped it. Like, whatever was out there was just a monster. Um, so, yeah. And right at the end of the day, like, um, we, my mate found this, um, this bird here. It was hurt, we think. We don't know what from. Um, it's a pigeon, I think. A bronze wing pigeon. Anyway, um, I'll give you a good look at it. I don't, I, I don't know if it'll make it through. Like, I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, I'll take it to the vet as soon as I can, but, um, I'll look after it. Hopefully it eats some food. I've tried to give it some food and water. Soft bed to sleep on. It's going to sleep next to me, so it's going to be kept safe. Um, but... I, don't, I really don't know anything about birds. I, I couldn't tell you what's wrong with the bird. Uh, all, all I know is it can't really sit properly and uh, it seems to slump to one side, but it's alive and it's breathing and it seems pretty comfortable now. So um, I don't know if it's just in shock or if something actually hurt it or what happened to it. But yeah, well, I mean, my mate said, oh, you know, we can either leave it here or kill it. And I thought, or take it with us, and I thought, well, I'm not killing it. Like, I'm not killing the bird. I just can't do that. I thought his mum might be able to look after it because she knows how to look after wild animals, but, um, yeah. I, 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 I mean, usually that's what you do. You just put them in a box and food and water and just let it rest. Hopefully it'll be all right. Find out, I guess. But yeah, I'll probably just take it to the vet and let them take care of it. But for now, it's uh, it's gonna have a sleep. And to give you an idea how long that, how like awesome that whole experience was, I had tears of joy in my eye from fishing. That's how good it was. Like, that's how good the, the experience was. It was that amazing. I I haven't had tears of joy for a long time and and just just going out there and having a great fish like oh like couldn't thank but uh, you know thank thank god for that because that was that was just one of the best experiences anyway peace